has to do with The Muscatine City Council will come to order. Uh, tonight's meeting come to order. We'll begin this evening uh, with a roll call. Fran? Council members Lorette. Present. Fitzgerald. Present. Natfig. Present. Shahadi. Present. Bynum. Present. Phillips. Present. Spread. Present. All present, Your Honor. Very good. Thank you, Fran. Folks, would you rise and join me in our Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and good evening, everyone. If there's anyone in council chambers that uh, would like to address council on an issue that is not included in tonight's agenda, now would be the time to come to the podium and uh, tell us your name and address, sir. <coughs> My name is Robert Bromwell. I've been here before. I'm here on behalf of the Greenwood Cemetery Steps. And I know some of the councilmen here have had a chance to go out and look at them. Some of them haven't. And if they haven't, I would encourage them to give me a call. I would like to walk the steps with them so that I can state my reasons and why I would like to see them reopened. And in the December 12th meeting that you have, which is an in-depth meeting, the council has the right to add to or subtract from the agenda list of the CIP projects that you're thinking about putting in in the next few years. And I would very much like to see this project included in that. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call, and I would really like to walk the steps with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bromwell, Thank you for being here tonight. We'll move along to item number five on the agenda, which is the consent agenda. The following items are considered to be routine by the City Council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a Council member so requests, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda, which includes items 6A through C, items 8A through E, filing of communications, which is 12A through E, and tonight's bills totaling $1,757,637.41. So moved. That was Mark, and a second? Second, Your Honor. Second, Bob. Any discussion, Council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries. Seven zero. Moving down now to Item 10A from the Planning and Zoning Commission. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution setting a public hearing to consider the vacation of an unimproved portion of the Charles Street right-of-way in the City of Muscatine. The property owner at 2218 New Hampshire Street is requesting a vacation of a 1,474 square foot unimproved portion of the Charles Street right-of-way. The intent is to accommodate an existing garage that was mistakenly constructed on a small portion of the unimproved portion of the right-of-way. The Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommends approval of this request. Prior to any formal action by City Council, a public hearing is required. This public hearing will be held on Thursday, December 5th, 2013 <coughs> at 7 p.m. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So move. That was Bob. Second. Second. Second, Scott, uh, any discussion? This is a roll call vote beginning with Bob. Aye. Osama. Aye. Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. Mark. Aye. Tom. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. Motion carries 7 0. Item B. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the final plat of the Barco subdivision in the city of Muscatine. The property owner is requesting the readjustment of the boundaries of an existing partial that would transfer approximately 8,154 square feet of land to the partial located directly north of it. The Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommends approval of this request. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Second. Tom. Second? Second. Second. Jeanette, uh, any discussion? Also a roll call vote beginning with Tom. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. Bob. Aye. Osama. Aye. Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Motion carries 7 0. Item 11 from the City Administrator, 11A that is. 
presented for city council's consideration is a resolution approving the contract and bond, yes, the contract and bond for a weed park maintenance building project. At the November 7th, 2013 city council meeting, the contract for this project was awarded to high brand industrial contractors in the amount of $398,550. It is now necessary to approve the contract and bond for this project. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Uh, Scott? Second. Second. Mark? Discussion, Council? We'll call vote beginning with uh, Scott. Aye. Phil? Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Jeanette? Aye. Bob? Aye. And Osama? Aye. Motion carries 7 0. Item B. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution authorizing changes to the Muscatine Municipal Housing Agency public housing admissions and continued occupancy policy. Staff has reviewed federal regulations and Department of Housing and Urban Development recommendations uh, and is now recommending changes that will allow the MMHA to better serve its residents. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Osama? Second, anyone? Second. Second, Tom. Any discussion, Council? Also a roll call vote, beginning with Osama. Aye. Scott? Aye. Phil? Aye. Mark? Aye. Tom? Aye. Uh, Jeanette? Aye. And Bob? Aye. Motion carries, 7 0. <laughs> Item C. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution authorizing changes to the Muscatine Municipal Housing Agency's administrative policy for the Section 8 tenant based housing choice voucher program. Staff has reviewed federal regulations and Department of Housing and Urban Development recommendations and is now recommending changes that will allow the MMHA to better serve its residents. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. Jeanette. Second. Second Osama. Discussion? And a roll call beginning with Jeanette. Aye. Bob. Aye. Osama. Aye. Uh, Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. Mark. Aye. And Tom. Aye. Motion carries 7 0. <clears throat> Item D. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution relating to the financing of certain proposed projects to be undertaken by the City of Muscatine and establishing compliance with reimbursement bond regulations under the Internal Revenue Code. With the approval of the contract and bond for the Weed Park Maintenance Building Project, Council is being requested to take action to approve the resolution related to financing this project through future general obligation bonds. An estimated $400,000 of general obligation bond proceeds will be needed to finance this project. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Ooh, everybody at once. I'll give that to Mark. And a second, second. Tom. Uh, discussion. And roll call beginning with Mark. Aye. Tom. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. Bob. Aye. Osama. Aye. Scott. Aye. And Phil. Aye. Motion carries 7 0. <clears throat> Item E, presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution adopting the complete streets policy. This policy will give direction on how future street projects will be designed. It has been created, uh, I'm sorry, it has been created as a comprehensive plan goal and as part of the city's participation in the Blue Zones project. <laughs> is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Tom? Second, anyone? Second, Second Your Honor. Uh, second fill and discussion <clears throat> and a roll call beginning with Tom. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. Bob. Aye. Osama. Aye. Scott. Aye. Phil. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Motion carries 7-0. Item F. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve the annual urban renewal report for fiscal year 2012 and 2013. Local governments are required to submit an annual report showing all activity with each of their urban renewal areas during the preceding fiscal year. Submission of this report is required no later than December 1st of each year. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Uh, Scott? Second. Second. Was that you, Jeanette? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those nay? Mm -hmm. Motion carries 7-0. Item G, presented for City Council's consideration is a request approving change order number seven for the West Hills Sanitary and Storm Sewer Separation Project, phase one. 
This change order involves work to abandon an existing storm sewer line below the work on Lynn Street between 6th and 7th Streets. It was determined that the best and least expensive option to abandon the pipe was to fill it, fill it with flowable grout. Change order number seven totals $928.49 and will bring the total contract price to $3,721,616.43. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So, so moved. Uh, I'll give that to Osama. Phil, did I hear you over there yeah, for a second? Okay. Second. Uh, any discussion, Council? <clears throat> All those in favor say aye. 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 Close nay. Motion carries seven to zero. Item H, presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve change order number one for the Calvert extension across Cedar Street at Stonebrook. Hegarty Earthworks was awarded the contract for the Logan Calvert extension project at a cost of $53,457. Additional work outside the contract is necessary along Cedar Street across from Stonebrook to extend an existing eight foot by eight foot culvert. The costs were budgeted in the overall Cedar Street project. The contractor has submitted a change order proposal to extend the existing culvert in an amount not to exceed $39,323. This change order totals $39,323 and will increase the contract total to $92,780. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move. Bob? Second. And a second, Mark. Any discussion? I just wondered why this wasn't bid out originally and then rather than coming in as a as an alternate or a Yeah, how did we miss by forty two percent? this this project was uh, when we when we were having the culvert extensions on Logan, uh, that grew out of a need to extend the, and improve the grades on Logan coming up to the uh, roundabout area. <clears throat> so that was a contract that we organized uh, earlier this fall and we got going. Uh, I knew that I did need to do something with the head wall on the project along Cedar Street. Uh, the original plan was to have to increase the height of the head walls and to have a guardrail installed and uh, rock revetment placed around there and uh, the DOT requires that they you you have to use a certain type of a rock you can't use your own recycled rock for revetment uh, so that becomes expensive uh, the reason we had to have rock was that the slopes were steeper if you don't extend the culvert out um, so those three items put together come up to about fifty five thousand dollars once we had a contractor under contract and reviewed reviewed the site uh, and were able to get a proposal from him and in and a quote uh, from materials we looked at that and and the options uh, were uh, cheaper to go this route with uh, an extended culvert uh, and using revetment stone that we have in our own lot which is much cheaper um, he submitted a price I looked at it it this box is an eight by eight versus a six by five that's under Logan Street. So this one's actually significantly bigger uh, and it's 42 feet long with a bend in it. Uh, the initial price uh, was higher and I looked at it and I said, it, it, it's, it seems too high. Uh, I had some comparables to look at with him uh, to decrease the price. So it's not like I, took the first price that was offered. I, I looked at comparables and got it to what was a competitive price. So, so it's not that, hey, we don't have any competition here. We, we have other bid numbers that are recent right on the Cedar Street project to compare it to. So John, where will the city council see the actual reduction in quantities? The reduction in quantities, there will be a cost that will come out of the DOT project uh, there will be a $25,000 roughly decrease in the cost of our DOT project uh, that's bid in, in uh, January. You know, we'll bid it out as having the rock in it because it's set. Uh, you know, the plans are into the state ready to bid. But when come time, comes time to place the rock, we will delete that item off of the contract and there will be like a $25,000 reduction in the contract. We'll see street. that as a change order. It's not in the change order. Yeah, that's why you look at wow, this is a 
this is a $39,000 increase. Well, we would have had to have a $15,000 head wall, a $15,000 guardrail, and $25,000 worth of revetment stone equals $55,000. Hey, we can accomplish the same thing for 39. So let's choose that option. It's an increase in the, in the, in the Haggerty contract and a decrease in the Cedar Street contract yeah, yes. project. So and to offset. And, and it gets the project going. It gets, it gets it under construction. But, but in, if it's a $25,000 reduction, it's in net terms a $14,000 overrun, so to speak. No, because there's two fifteen thousand ones in addition. I'm looking at the thirty nine. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Council? <clears throat> nope. The the wording is a little bit confusing on the on the on the, on the council agenda. It's it, it doesn't cross Cedar Street. It will not affect the traffic on Cedar Street. You know, it won't be closed. It's an extension from the the upstream side of the of the culvert that is across the road from Stonebrook. Is Got the that. total uh, of the contract still going to be ninety two thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars, or is it minus the twenty five thousand? No, that's what the the contract. Uh, you know, it'll increase the fifty three to the ninety. The 25 will come off the, the Cedar Street project right. okay. when yep. it gets bid yep. out, and they delete the rock that's necessary to, rather than if they didn't do this. <clears throat> so that comes back to that that question was the, the stone was uh, 25, savings at 25,000. What happened to the guardrails and, and the the guardrails were, would not be under the DOT contract. We did guardrails We've out done on those on our own contract. We, yeah, just like we put in our on our own out further out on Cedar Street. So that would have and been a thirty thousand dollar project that the city would have had to put yes. in. Yes, thirty plus. With the twenty five, would have been fifty. Another twenty five. Okay. Yep. So fifty five thousand. <laughs> okay. Got it. Thanks. Anyone else, Council? Yeah. Thank you, John. And uh, would you like me to read the request again? No. No. Okay. Uh, this is the voice vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion <laughs> carries 7 0. Item I, presented for City Council's consideration is a request to declare city vehicles and equipment as surplus property. Uh, the city began using public surplus in June 2009, and to date it has netted $92,576.99. Prior to items being placed on the auction site, they must first be declared as surplus property. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So Osama. Second. Second. Tom. Any discussion? Are, 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 are most of these vehicles Ford? Crown Victorious, and they've got over a hundred thousand, correct? Yes. These vehicles are Crown Vicks that are on my list, and you know they're, they're old squad cars, and yeah. you know we kept we held one back for a travel car, but we're getting rid of the rest. Is there anything else that we could use these cars for? Is there any other purposes? We'd sell them and make money off of them. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're costing us money. I mean, they're old and there's maintenance on them and there's the fuel and we don't need them. So. I especially since the police department probably took the juice out of them. The police department, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll help them get rid of them. So. Thank you. Anyone else, Council? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. <coughs> Carry 7 0. Item J. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request from the Water Pollution Control Plant to approve the purchase of an ion uh, chromatography unit. New regulations required by the Environmental Protection Agency and the Iowa Department of Natural Resources include the reporting of nitrogen levels in the water pollution control plant effluent. 
Demonstration unit is available for purchase from the manufacturer at a cost of $32,849.95. There is $35,000 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Got. Second. Second, Jeanette. To any discussion? Pretty expensive for the dishwasher, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else, counsel? <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 That's what it is. Opposed nay. Yes. She carries 7-0. <laughs> Item K. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request from the Water Pollution Control <laughs> Plant to approve change order number two for the lab annex project. Heat recovery coils, piping, pumps, and controls are needed for efficient function of the new HVAC system being installed for the new lab annex. Due to the large air turnover required to vent noxious chemicals, uh, the heat recovery system needs to be part of the HVAC system. The cost for the system installation is $23,472. This project is being funded from the Water Pollution Control Plant Replacement Reserve. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Or that was Mark. Second, anyone? Second. Second, Osama. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 7-0. It is now time for communications from council members, city administrator, and our administrative specialist, Fran. Oh, specialist. <laughs> we'll begin with Councilman Lorette. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this being the last meeting of the month, I'd just like to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, for those of you that are traveling to See family, uh, safe travels over the holiday. Thank you. Are you good? Phil? Nothing at this time, Your Honor. Scott? Nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. Osama? I have nothing. Thank you. Councilman Bynum? Your Honor, I, I'd just like to remind the city council members that uh, the, the, you do have copies of the bids for the cemetery stairs as an email to you. I'd cautiously like to have you take a look at them and, and analyze it. Uh, well over 600 people have signed a petition requesting those stairs to be uh, uh, either redone completely or refurbished, uh, and uh, they'd like to have it done as soon as possible. Thank you, Your Honor. Good. Good I'd like to ask Fran. Fran, do you have that petition that where you could look at it? Do What's they file? The, what he's just talking about with these the petition. 600? It's in public documents. Okay, I can do it on the computer then. <coughs> you, no. <coughs> you want to look at it? Yeah. If you can get in a DocuShare, I'll tell no. you what. I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. It's pretty long. That's okay. okay. Councilman Tom. Uh, just a quick reminder, back in March or April of this year, I introduced a resolution that the council passed to, to implore the state to begin a discussion about public pension reform. And I don't know if you saw the article in the uh, uh, Monday edition of the uh, uh, Des Moines Register, the governor's made a statement that he's going to do just that. So it's encouraging. Somebody's listening to us. Very good. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Greg. Nothing tonight, Your Honor. And Fran. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And I certainly echo uh, Fran's sentiments as well as uh, Councilman Loretta in wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving and safe travels. Uh, is there any other business, Council? Is there a motion to adjourn? Meeting is adjourned. We're going downstairs. Yes, sir.